Good morning. Another day, another candle testing. Today we're going to test RCX Rapeseed Wax from Candle Shack. So let's have a little look. I made the candles about a week ago now, so they've had a nice time to cure. Let's go. So I bought 800 grams of wax of the tester. It comes in a lovely little cardboard box. The wax is quite hard and brittle to touch, quite firm. However, not as hard and brittle as other rapeseed waxes I have purchased in the past. Like the previous video, I've got a Stabilo wick, Stabilo 12, TCR 24 slash 12, and a CL12 um, with the pen rubbing off slightly. So let's have a look at the top. A little bit bumpy, but I think we could probably even that out with the heat gun. And we've got some pretty good glass adhesion. Few wet spots, but Overall, I'd say it's pretty decent, if I can get my camera to focus. And then we'll go for a 360. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. 25 kilos of wax will cost you about 115 pounds, so it's cheaper than other waxes, and it's got a fragrance load of between 8 and 10%. So the candles have been alight for one hour. Let's have a look at the melt pool. It's made it to the edges in all of them, but it's not too deep. So I'm quite happy with what's going on so far. Two hours in, the melt pool is pretty good. Nothing um, too big, so there's no need to be alarmed. Um, I think it's going down at quite a good rate. The scent throw is pretty good, but nowhere near as good as the RS1 wax I tested last week. Three hours in now, the melt pool is staying pretty consistent. Quite happy with all of the wicks. I think the Stabolo wick is working the best. So yeah, we'll come back at hour four. Hour four now, all of them have a pretty good melt pool. Like I said, I think the Stabolo wick is performing the best. It's got the smallest melt pool, but it has reached a full melt pool, if that makes sense. And it's not dancing and flickering around as much as the other wicks. So I think that's definitely what I would use if I was gonna make um, candles with RCX wax. I think overall the wax is pretty good. Last time, well, I've used rapeseed wax before and they tend to burn really quickly, but this is going at quite a slow, steady rate. So I'm quite happy with that, so it should provide decent value for money. I think with a bit of testing, this could be quite a decent wax. I'm going to give it about 7 out of 10, whether I'm not using a strong enough fragrance oil. Um, the only issue was the bumpy tops, but I think that can be um, solved with a heat gun. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.